In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate these. So when you integrate each of the power of x, you're looking for something out there in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you e to the power of x. Well, the answer turns out to be e to the power of x because y equals e to the power of x. How do you differentiate this? Well, uh, dy by dx equals e to the power of x. I'm expecting you to know this. So when you integrate this, it will be, it will be, it will be, e to the power of x plus c. Now, e, to integrate this, um, if I were to give you, let's say, y equals um, 3x, the graph would look like this, where you move 1 across, 3 up, 1 across, 3 up. It has a gradient of 3. So, um, so when I ask you to integrate, how would you integrate 3dx? Well, you're looking for something out there in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you 3. Well, the answer turns out to be 3x, because when you differentiate uh, 3x, it will give you 3. So integrate is really you going the other way. So to integrate 3, the answer would be 3x plus c. So the answer here would be, uh, would, well, the answer here would be 3x plus c. So going back to this here, this e thing is really e to the power of 1, but e to the power of 1 is, is a constant. It's, it's just 2.7 something. It's just a number that doesn't change. So it's, this 2.7 thing is, is like this 3 here. It's a constant. It's a number that doesn't change. Up here is a different story because you've got e to the power of something that moves, something that changes. This x here is a variable. It changes. This is this is totally different from this. This here is just a number. It is 2.7 blah, blah, blah. So, so it's like me asking you to integrate this number here. So when you integrate it, it would be it would be 2.7 x, just like this 3 here. So, um, so when you integrate this, it would be... When you integrate this, it would be... It would be e x plus c because this thing here is just a number e to the power of one is just a number it, it, it only changes when you have e to the power of a variable so it's a different these two are totally different now how would you integrate this pi how would you integrate pi well you're looking for something out there in such a way that when you when you differentiate it it gives you pi well if you consider y equals pi x when you differentiate this this pi is just a constant it's a number doesn't that doesn't change so dy by dx in this case will be this number here just like when you differentiate 3x dy by dx equals 3 well when you differentiate this it will just be pi so when you integrate this the answer will be pi x plus c now how would you integrate this well this whole thing here is just a number. It is 3.14 whatever times by itself. So, so it turns out that this thing here is just a constant. That thing there's a constant. When you integrate it, it will be a constant. Whatever that number is, I don't care. X plus C. Just like this thing up, up here. When you differentiate this, it will be pi. When you differentiate this, it will be this number, pi squared. Now, when you integrate this... Well, if I were to ask you to integrate um, x uh, dx, uh, you're looking for something out there in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you x. You would consider something like this, x squared, something like this. But the thing is, when you differentiate this, it would be um, 2x, but you don't want this 2. So you would go back to, to your initial guess uh, and, and stick a half in there, half x squared so so when you when you integrate this it will be this thing here and i'm expecting you to um to know how to integrate this thing here but this thing here is just x to the power of a constant x to the power of a constant just like this just like x squared this is a constant this is a variable if you look at x to the power of three this is a constant this is a variable if you look at x to the power of four this is a variable this is a constant. Well, if you look at this, this is a variable. This is a constant, just like all these. So when you when you integrate it, it would be one notch higher. So it would be um, it would be something along the line of it would be something along the line of uh, let's say one notch higher x to the power of pi plus one. That is one notch higher. So so when you integrate this, you're looking for something out there in such a way that when you differentiate it. It gives you 
this thing here. So when you when you um, when you try and differentiate this, so this would be your initial guess. When you try and differentiate this, this thing here is a number, it's a constant. This thing here would come down, so that would be pi plus one as a number. The x stays the same. The power gets minus by one, so that would be pi. Um, you don't want this pi plus one thing, so you would go back to your initial guess and stick one over pi plus one. So now, now when you differentiate this, when you differentiate this, this thing here is just a number, one over pi plus one. Leave that alone. Concentrate on differentiating this. The power comes down, so that would be that would be um, pi plus one, and then the x stays the same. The power gets minus by one, and look, these two, they cancel each other out, leaving you with x to the power pi, x to the power pi. So when you integrate this, the answer would be one over uh, pi plus one x to the power of uh, pi plus one. And if you don't believe, oh, plus c here. And if you don't believe me, if you differentiate this, it will indeed give you x to the power pi, okay?